Hello everyone, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity in the world of Mistral. So, today we are tackling the Infusion Altar. Actually, I could probably use up this one first. So, ideally, what I want to do here is I want to make all of this arcane stone, and then I'm going to have to make four arcane stone bricks. I'm going to need to make a ton of pedestals. I need, I believe, 13, if I remember correctly. So if it's two at a time, then that means I need to make six, seven. And that'll get me 14. And I believe that is correct. Okay, you're out of mana, or beast, I should say. Working a lot with Batania lately. Is that still chucking along? Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. Amundo. So, what we need to do is we need to go down to my the room that I've set aside for Arcane Infusion. And we need to put a Arcane Pedestal in the very middle of the room. Which should be right here. I'm actually going to get that copper from under it because we're going to want that. Grab both of those. And we can replace it with gravel for now. Eventually I'll get around to actually putting nice looking blocks into these rooms. But for now, this is all we need. Now I'm going to put a piece of gravel on top of that pedestal. And I'm going to put the runic matrix on top of that. Cool. Uh, now, all of this is found here in the Thaumonomicon. All you have to do is go to Artifice, go to your infusion bit. Feel free to pause and read if you would like. Here's the pedestal. And now here is the structure you need. So it's three blocks tall. It's bricks on the bottom, in the corners from the pedestal that is in the middle. And then you have a normal arcane stone block on top of each brick. And then the runic matrix with nothing around it, one level above these two pillars that you'll be making. Or these four pillars that you'll be making. Two block tall pillars, what I meant to say. So, we put down the bricks. Uh, I guess I'll take the salt. Because why not? Oh, that is one out too far. Then we take the stone bricks, or stone blocks, sorry, and we go like so. Now, we're also going to need twenty-five of every aspect. Do I have that left? I do not. I'm a little short on Ordo. So let's go fill up. Come on, guys, you're in my way. There we go. And we're full. Okay. That's still going. That's good. And then all you have to do is right click on the matrix, and it changes, and now you have this really awesome. Alter. It looks fantastic. Oh, I forgot to scan it before. Well, whoops. Oh, well. That's okay. So, uh, now what we have to do is we have to put pedestals around it that we use for crafting. Uh, no, one more out. here and then isn't this how I usually do it no that's way too many I was wrong 
I was right the first time. Like this. And then like so. Now for vanilla Thomcraft, you aren't going to need this many pedestals. Uh, this many is only required for recipes that are added by add-ons, like uh, Thomic Tinkerer. And I think Forbidden Magic may have one that requires this many. But it's essentially 12 pedestals is the maximum you'll need on this mod pack, that's for sure. Uh, now we do have one pedestal left over, but that's okay. There is a recipe that requires a pedestal, so... It will have its use eventually. For now, though, I have not scanned my gold banded wand. Interesting. There we go. So now we have our arcane infuser. So now we're gonna have to work on supplying the infused the infusion altar with uh, aspects because it's gonna need aspects. And it does not get these aspects from our wands, because wands can only hold primal aspects. Uh, instead, it requires Essentia. And Essentia, let's see here. Essentia is produced by the alchemical furnace, which boils down items into their component aspects. So what we're going to need is we're going to need one of these. So we're going to need a crucible, we're going to need a furnace, and we're going to need seven arcane stone blocks. Fortunately, I just made a ton of them. Seven, there we go. Now I should be able to sleep. Boom. And now I'm going to go top off our plants. Okay, hey, come on guys, burn up already. Seriously? Fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Cool. And I will take your head. I guess I'll take everything. Why not? Oh, whoops. I did not mean to pick that back up. One, two, three, four. Here we go. And we are producing tons of mana. Alright, let's put this away. Okay, now we need a furnace. So let's get one of those. And we also need another crucible. So. I'm going to take seven of these. Boom. Cauldron. Put the cauldron down, right click with the wand, and there is our crucible. Perfect. Oh, I have not scanned the arcane stone blocks. There we go. Alright, so what we do is like so. And you don't have enough aqua, so we're going to use you instead. There we go. That gives us the alchemical furnace. Perfect. Now, unfortunately, this guy breaks stuff down, but he does not allow us to extract what is broken down from him. For that, we're going to need ourselves some alembics. So let's go put this guy down for now. Boom, boom. There we go. And we're also going to need Essentia to take care to make use of this guy right there. So that is something we will have to do. So for now, we need to make an alembic. Now to make an alembic, we need some V's filters, we need some iron, we need a bucket, and we need some gold. So we need mostly just iron. We need a little bit of gold, but uh, it's mostly iron. 
Now, unfortunately, I still don't have enough gold. I'm recording this directly after the last one, so... Hmm. Do I have enough gold? No, I do not. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go to the Twilight Forest, see if we can't find any gold in our good friend, the Hollow Hill. I should also be on the lookout for a node, since our current node just ate the last one. So yes, you can transport uh, nodes from different dimensions uh, using the blood magic uh, system, which is super handy. Uh, of course, we already demonstrated that when I moved the hungry node we found in this uh, world over to the overworld. So. Uh, does that note have a compound aspect? Cicadas. Ooh, it does, and it's a new one. Machina. Very valuable. Perfect. So now we have a new aspect. Awesome. Now let's go to our hollow hill, which is right over here. And see if we can't find ourselves some gold. Oh, look at that, tons of gold. Gold everywhere. I often confuse gold with yellow, right? Which is a bit of a problem. Let's get a ton of this stuff. Just like a ton. Oh, uh, that's good. Ultimately, 32 would be fantastic. That would get us a stack. That is a really big fading node. What does that have on it? Oh, it's a little further away than I thought it was. Let's go check it out, though. Why not? Ordo and Terra, huh? Well, it's not too bad. It's fading. I might take it and just, like, destroy it. There is a way to remove the fading aspect from a node uh, with vanilla, mi vanilla Thomcraft, I believe. Uh, all you need to do is make a node stabilizer, and it, or an advanced node stabilizer, sorry. You do need to upgrade it. And it will, over time... Uh, has a chance to completely remove the fading aspect from the node. So all you have to do is wait. Uh, you could get lucky and it could happen really early, but it, or it could take like forever. So would not hold your breath for it. I said we wanted like half a stack of gold at least. So let's do that. It's just sitting everywhere. All I have to do is collect it. Stop being lazy. <laughs> Incoming. Okay. We got 31. We're very close. There we go. 34. And I'm just going to grab whatever else is within arm's reach.
Doesn't seem to be much. Okay, well, we're good. That's more yellow, right? Oh, can't go over here. Ow. What a jerk. So mobs still have a small chance of spawning around here. I haven't lit it up totally, but it's pretty good, all in all. Alright, so let's head back, and we should now have enough gold to, more than enough gold to make our views filters and everything else we need. Uh, so there's an update available for uh, FTB now, uh, 2.0. So I'm assuming there were some relatively big changes and stuff. So I was, I noticed there was an update, but I needed to record. So I decided not to, uh, not to update right then and there, because then I would have to go into my files, reinsert the mods that I've added to the pack. Okay, that's not a compound node. And it's just a, it's uh, something I would like to do on off time. Okay. When I'm not pressed for time. Okay, so. I'm going to bring us down to half a stack, and we're going to put this in our little blender. Hello. How did you spawn in here? All right, let's uh, hit F7 here. Nothing. There's nothing here. Did I hit it? Maybe I didn't hit it. No. Okay, nothing. No reason he should be here. It's so annoying when that happens. Okay, well, whatever. So, I'm gonna let that gold go, and then I will bring you guys back in when we're all set. Oh, F7 is still on. There we go. So yes, I'll let that uh, that go, and then I'll bring you guys back in when we are set to continue crafting. So see you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty, and welcome back. So I now have everything we need. One, two, three. That is four. There we go. So we have to make a few V's filters. There we go. We need to make our alembics. Now you can only have five alembics per furnace, so that's why I'm making five. I also have not scanned a V's filter before. Boom. Put you away because we only need two more anyway. Uh, you're low on aqua. You're low on aqua, so let's just go recharge the gold one. Also, let's scan an alembic. Boom. Man, we're draining our uh, wands regularly, huh? There we go. And we're full. Perfect. Looks like these skeletons and wisps are getting into a fight. So. Up we go, over we go. We 
And now let's snag ourselves another Alembic, shall we? Another couple Alembics. Boom, boom. There we go. I don't need my wand on me, so we'll just leave it there for now. Uh, now we have to go over this way. And that is why I made this room that tall. Because <laughs> it's a relatively large structure. So everything is scanned, everything is good. So now all we have to do is we have to supply this guy with fuel. Charcoal works fine, anything works fine. Alumentum is technically the best fuel for this thing because it burns for quite a while. And it uh, increases the speed at which it processes uh, the resulting slurry. So, it is a good idea to use Elementum if you have enough resources to do it. I currently do not, so we're not going to be using Elementum anytime soon. Uh, I would like to eventually, hopefully, find a way to automate it so that I can produce Elementum, but uh, for now, not an option. Instead, uh, the next step is going to be we need to create warded jars. I believe, do I still have wood slabs somewhere? I should. Right? Pretty sure I should. Apparently I don't. Okay, well, whatever. So, I need to make glass panes. Boom. That's probably not going to be enough. We're going to need a whole ton of water jars. Oh, we're actually almost at time, so... Uh, for now, that'll do. Oh. We're going to need approximately, we're going to need a water jar for every aspect that there is. So we're going to need, let's see, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight. 32, uh, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 53, 54, 55. That seems wrong. Am I missing an aspect? I don't know. I might. 55? 52, 53, 54, 55. That might be right, actually. I think it's 54 without magic bees, so with magic bees only adds one aspect, so you're going to need about 55, so you can get that in your planks. It's probably the easiest to do this by. 54... 55, and then you can put the rest away. Boom, that's where I want them. Then all you have to do is go like so, like so. And like so. So we're a bit short on glass panes, but that's okay. I'll take care of that off camera. And then all we have to do is make ourselves as many of these warded jars as we can. And then what these are used for is they're just used for uh, storing the essentia that you get from the Olympics. So real quick fast, I'm going to show you guys how to smelt something down. We're going to melt down an ender pearl, and that's going to give us some aspects. Now it's a really good idea to have goggles of revealing or some variation of them uh, on you for this because it just makes uh, seeing things a whole lot easier. So we're going to use a piece of wood because it's not going to need to burn for very long. And now you'll see it's giving us Precantatio, Alienus, and Iter. I believe that's all that they give. 
Boom. There you go. Then all you have to do is take one of your jars, right click. Now I have a jar of Precantatio, right click, jar of Alienus, right click, jar of Iter. So you want one jar for every aspect there is. And then you want to surround your uh, arcane infusion altar with these jars. Uh, I'll find a symmetrical setup. I'll probably use the same one I used in Aquarian Skies too, just because I thought it looked really good. Although now there's a different number of aspects, so it's probably not going to work as well. But uh, regardless, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed all that fun stuff. Uh, feel free to leave, leave a like, a comment, anything. All the feedback is very much appreciated, and uh, I pay attention to all of it. So thank you very much. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now.